Well, here I am, Harryfoot's railway station once again, uh, in my car. It's nearly eight o'clock and I got here in plenty of time for my train, which was due to go at 20 to 8. Why am I sat in my car? Well, that train was cancelled. Uh, signalling problems, apparently, between Newport and uh, Hereford. I think they're in Cumbran, actually, the fault. So my train is cancelled and uh, I'm hanging around to see the um, the next available train is due at 5 to 9, just under an hour from now. And um, at the moment it's showing that that one is going to be okay. So presumably they've, they will have fixed the signal error. So I'm going to wait and see if that one runs. Uh, if it doesn't run, I think I'll... I'll give up for today because, you know, there's so many connections I have to make afterwards as well. So um, it would be quite late getting to entry boats, and and I want to have um, I want to have uh, you know a, um, a decent look at the boat while I'm there. I don't want to be rushing. So so yeah, I'm sitting tight at the moment. I think I might wander over to Morrison's, which is that way, and. Uh, get myself a coffee or something and then keeping my fingers crossed I'll return to the station hopefully it'll be alright and I can get to entry and see Gladys and uh, satisfy myself it all looks good for the launch on Friday so keeping my fingers crossed on many fronts at the moment and uh, obviously I'm gonna catch up with you uh, shortly well, it seems that uh, there are no trains coming up from Newport direction until half past nine, I think. But it does appear that Transport for Wales is providing a service that starts here in Hereford to Manchester Piccadilly. And that's due to leave at 08.56. So um, that's, uh, that's the best I can do, I think. Uh, I'm not quite sure what these two trains are doing. They've been just stopped here for a while, heading down towards Newport Way. One of them is empty. I'm wondering whether it's going to go down and turn, and, uh, and then that will become the 0856. And, uh, here we are. The train has just arrived, I'm going to jump on, got about 20 minutes until it leaves, but it's going to be warmer on there than out here. My train got in at crew at just after half past ten. But the first train now to Liverpool is 11.26 and then there's another one six minutes later. Oh well, finally got to uh, Liverpool Lime Street. It's quarter past twelve and if all had gone properly I would have arrived here at 10.42. So I'm about an hour and a half late. Got to make my way over now to uh, Liverpool Central and catch the Mersey Rail train up to Walton. It's a beautiful day here in Liverpool. Lots of people milling around. But uh, I don't have time to go sightseeing, I'm afraid. Not today. Just for a change, I've got off at Rice Lane today. A short walk now to entry boats and go and have a look at Gladys. Well, I finally made it up to entry boats. I'm very hot now from walking uh, from Rice Lane. I got off at Rice Lane station this time. I'm going to go and 
go in now and see uh, what I find. I'm hoping to find Gladys pretty much finished. And I hope they're going to tell me that everything is still set for Friday. I've been disappointed before. So uh, I'm going to walk in with fingers firmly crossed. Let's go see. Well, as I come into the yard, there is a red boat. This is waltzing along. You can see a blue boat in the corner, that's Bossa Nova. I think that might be Dean's boat. Here's mud in your eye. And uh, I think this is Andy's boat. And I can see, I think, I think that's Bonnie over there. What I can't see at the moment is Gladys. So I better go and uh, check into the office first and let them know I'm here. So oh, there we are. This is this is where they are. There's Bonnie on the right and Gladys. Let's go and see what's going on. I think there's some work being done inside Gladys uh, as we speak, getting her ready for going out on Friday. There's Bonnie. Still can't get over how nice the red is. It really is a beautiful colour. Just been talking to Dave the foreman and he says the uh, heating system has been installed uh, today and the engine I think is due to go in tomorrow. Apparently it's easier to fit the heating system before the engine is installed. Uh, that's what he says. There's a couple of guys inside the boat working at the moment. I'm hoping I can uh, go inside and have a look. See the lights are on in there. But, uh, so at the moment she's connected to the mains uh, electricity. Some the controls there. Okay, so the guys have just popped out. They're all about 10 minutes so I can come and get some pictures. Uh, that's my water tank gauge there, I believe. This is the bed with the storage drawers for underneath. Uh, drawers for the cupboard there. There's a lovely smell in here. Gorgeous. <laughs> I think uh, Jamie said they're fitting the engine. The um, I think Jamie said they're fitting the fire today. I have to remind myself it is only Monday and uh, it's not launched until Friday so still another few days yet to go I guess the fridge goes there And my blinds for the windows. Uh, 
electrical stuff. Don't ask me what most of it does. There's my 4G rotor. Steps will go back on here. Cooker. Work all looks really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they said the fire at the, the stove is going in today. And then, of course, they'll be drilling through the roof. Yeah, as it was, um, it was Lenny that done the, the extras for this boat. Was so it? yeah, so he's done a bit of this setting your um, your your battery monitor up and stuff like that. Yes. So that's what what's down here, your bus bar. Oh, okay, right. So this is the this is the four G antenna that I'll be getting my internet from and when I upload my YouTube videos it'll be coming through this over down the boat you can see there's a solar panel I think the top of the uh, I think the roof gets cleaned I'm not sure if it gets another coat of paint as well uh, before it goes out I guess that's the drawback of choosing a, a light coloured roof, which uh, Clive has done the same as me. It's going to show. Uh, it's going to show all the dirt, I'm afraid. Well, there we are. Can't do much about that. I do love the red, and I'm looking forward to seeing it washed and uh, nice and shiny again. Bossa Nova, it's a Dean's boat. Some lovely artwork on there. Makes you think of uh, the summer, doesn't it? That Bossa Nova. It's a lovely colour. Different blue to Bonnie, but still, it's a lovely colour. I think he's going to be very happy uh, when Bossa Nova gets launched. And then mud in your eye. And his boat. It's also a beetle. I think this is a 25 foot beetle in a nice blue, same colour as Bonnie I think, waltzing along. It's a bigger boat this time. Slightly different red to Gladys, similar colour coach lining.
rotsing along a lovely paint job I don't know whether it was the same sign writer as did Gladys I wouldn't be at all surprised really nice job here's a picture of the forklift truck that they used to actually lift the boats as you can see it's pretty gigantic uh, this this boat isn't wasn't made by entry boats it's made by somebody else and uh, it's been brought here to have some repair work done I think uh, well it's uh, half past two I've just come out from entry boats uh, Gladys isn't finished but uh, I didn't actually think she would be finished today but uh, there's a few guys working on her as we speak and uh, everyone has assured me that we are still looking very good for Friday and she will be launched on Friday as uh, that'll be Friday the 15th of November so uh, yeah I'm a uh, I'm a happy man I think and uh, by the time you watch this video which should be Saturday um, she should be in the water and hopefully I'll be an even happier man yeah it's all looking good my next and very important task is to get something to eat and then get to the station I keep my fingers crossed that the trains back home are much better than the trains coming out right let's get a move on And once more back in Hereford. Happy to say the trains coming back were much more on time and only 10 minutes late getting here into Hereford. So a long day but uh, quite a happy one overall. I'm very pleased. It does look like Gladys is going to launch on Friday and uh, in the meantime I'm going home for a well-earned cup of tea and uh, I'll see you soon hopefully from Gladys and Arabo. Bye!